it's Michelle Taberge of michelletaberge.com and themindfulartist.com and I got inspired to do this video when I saw a comment about someone cringing about the amount of paint I was using on the four types of acrylic paint video as I was squirting it out to demonstrate. And it brought back those feelings I remember from when I first finished my undergraduate education and I was on a very tight budget and I remember going to the paint store with the list of colors I needed and not having enough money to buy all the colors that I was out of in my studio. And I wanted to talk a little about art materials and wasting or the expense of art materials and maybe give you a little mindset around it that might help a little bit. So. Back in those days, I was very frugal. I didn't have a lot of money. Um, I didn't have a set budget for anything, so it was just, you know, whatever I had in my pocket on that day was what I could spend, I guess. And I remember how that shifted so radically. About 20 plus years ago, I got a job teaching for an art supply company. So I was going around and teaching workshops for them. And they sent me, when I got hired, cartons, like big cartons full of art supplies. It was like art supply heaven. It was such abundance. I had never experienced such a thing before. I mean, it was one of everything that they made. And it changed my art practice so radically because I wasn't so worried anymore. I knew there was going to be more. I knew there was enough so I could actually play and experiment. And prior to that, I hadn't allowed myself because somehow subconsciously or maybe consciously, I just knew there was like a limitation. I had this sort of lack and limitation thought and feeling around my art materials. So I wouldn't, um, if I, I would just probably censor ideas before they came. If I got an idea to do like a large gesture or something, whatever it was, I wasn't allowing myself to do it. And it, this brings me back to some of my early days of teaching. At one point I was teaching a class that was for parents and children together. And I remember one of the parents saying to their child, don't waste the paper. And how many of us have heard that, you know, as a kid that we're wasting stuff, you know? And I, I don't wanna, um, I think it's really important to be mindful, especially because of the environment and our human impact on our planet. And I take that very seriously. It means a whole lot to me. So. I don't want to advocate being completely unmindful of what we're doing and what we're using. But I do also want to advocate for the fact that in order for our creative spirit and our creative ideas to grow and evolve, we need to have a sense of liberation and freedom. And so what I would suggest to you, if you're feeling this um, kind of limitation or lack around your materials is that first of all is you examine why you're doing it and why it's important and really spend time on that and why you're important and why your creative ideas are important and I think those are questions that a lot of us don't even address. It's worth taking the time to really get into that with yourself. I use a journal for that type of exploration. I think writing things out and getting out of your head or just talking to friends if you're not a journaler, other creative friends who perhaps you see aren't as fearful as you are about materials. Um, just spend some time. Honestly, I can say you're worth it. Your creative ideas are worth it. But if you don't believe that inside, that's not really going to help you. So that's really definitely if that's something that's holding you back, that's an exploration and a journey you have to take for yourself and make sure that you are not limiting yourself because you don't value yourself, your creative ideas, and your time. And another thing is um, 
on the practical level is to make yourself a budget. So just say, this is my amount to spend on art materials. And so I am free within that budget to go crazy, you know, and to just have fun with these materials and let yourself play, allow yourself to experiment. It's so important to your growth as a creative person. It's really essential and it definitely held me back and I really feel so grateful and fortunate that I had that shift where I got a bunch of materials and I wish I could just reach through this camera and just hand out <laughs> abundant supplies to all of you, but that's for you to do. You need to treat yourself and another tip, especially those of you, you know, I'm probably thinking, I mean, I guess it can be any age, but you can ask for gifts. Um, if it's a holiday or you have a birthday, you can ask the people who care about you that say that you would like art supplies or gift cards for art supplies or gift certificates and really allocate that to your creative practice so that you can be a little bit more free. So as always, my heart goes out to you. I hope you have a great creative day and that you feel free and liberated in your practice. Until next time. Oh, and I have a video coming up for you next that is going to be five different tips for saving money on art supplies and hopefully that will also help you as well.